Number 74, explain the cleansing action of soap. Okay, so this little lesson is all going to be, you know, teaching you about how soap works and why we should always wash our hands, um, you know, from time to time throughout the day. Now, what I have here is one example of one molecule that would be classified as a soap, and this is sodium stearate. Now, the only thing that you really have to pay attention to is that for soaps, right, they're just basically chains coming from a fatty acid. So they're, they're kind of part of the lipid uh, family. Not really, though, because they're not the three fatty acids in the glycerol chain, but they are very similar to lipids or fats because they contain a hydrocarbon uh, chain, which is just basically a huge chain, depending on what salt you have, that intertwines between just carbons and hydrogens. Now, carbons and hydrogens are very nonpolar, right? If you just have carbon and hydrogen, generally speaking, that um, that bond between carbon and hydrogen is going to be a nonpolar bond. So all of this that is basically locked in blue is your nonpolar end. Okay? So... One molecule of a soap has a nonpolar end. It's the big, it's the big, 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 big end, right? The, the nonpolar end is going to be way larger than the, they call it over here, the ionic end. But I like to call this as the polar end as well. You can, you can kind of work it both ways. It's just easier because one is nonpolar, the other one is polar. Ionic is just a step up from being polar because you actually have uh, direct charges, which is what we have over here. The head of the soap is the small uh, portion that consists of the charges. CO2 minus is the carboxylic head, and it's just bound with a metal, so sodium in this case. Sodium stearate, so that sodium is at the, the head. Now, in this case, for salt, uh, salts, did I say salts? I meant soaps. <laughs> for soaps, you will have a polar head. Is, you know, these are just general terms that they use. And the rest of it is a non-polar tail. So you have two different por portions of one whole entire molecule. You have a polar head and a nonpolar tail. Polar because carbons and oxygens, they form polar bonds. Remember, it all goes back to electronegativity. And now we can also have another name to uh, polar head and nonpolar tails. If uh, the head is polar, keep in mind that a big thing here, and maybe I'll put it over here, that like dissolves in like. Like dissolves in like. So if you are polar, this portion of your soap would want to be with other polar molecules. And what is the, the most famous polar solvent of all time? You've got it. It's water. So um, this is called hydrophilic. right? Hydro, I mean, it kind of relates to hydrogen, but if you want to stay hydrated, you drink water. Hydrophilic, by definition, means that it loves water. It wants to be so close to water because water is polar. Like dissolves in like. So this polar head is like, I want to be so close to water, please. But the nonpolar tails, mm -mm, right? They don't want to be with water, that's not the same. These are classified as hydrophobic, right? And if you have a phobia towards something, you want to stay away. Hydro, hydrated water, you're afraid of being close to water. See, even molecules have an, you know, uh, you know, have a phobia towards something. So, uh, hydrophobic means that it hates 
maybe I shouldn't say hate because hate is a very strong word, but we'll say dislikes H2O. It does not want to be anywhere near water. So now, That's the whole spiel on just one molecule of a soap. However, when you put soap on your hands, are you only dealing with one of these? Uh Uh-uh. You're dealing with thousands of them. Hundreds, thousands, maybe even millions, depending on how how much soap you put on, right? Especially when you're, you know, in the shower cleaning. Um, You're dealing with a lot of these. So the question is now, well, how do these... um, How do these arrange themselves when you have multiple, in this case, sodium stearates? Well, remember, you got two properties. You got hydrophobic versus hydrophilic. And let's just make our own little soap, right? And maybe what I'll do is actually, we're just going to go straight down to here. Now, don't focus on this right now, the drop of oil. Let's just focus on these red balls on the top. And then these little tails, right? Because that's the two components. And look how many uh, soap molecules you have. And it's uh, it makes this, which is called a micelle or a micelle, however you want to pronounce it. A micelle is basically a circular structure based off of polarity. Now remember, like dissolves in like, all of your polar heads, which are these red things, they want to be exposed to the environment. And if you're cleaning yourself, right, whether you're in the shower or, you know, just washing your hands, you're going to be exposed to water, right? That's why we, you know, with water, we run the water, right, to wash all the, the gunk away. Um, washing your hands, you could throw on the water, but that's the idea here is that those polar heads, they want to be exposed to the water. So they will be facing outwards. Meanwhile, the interior portion, remember all of these have their own tails and all the tails are going to be nonpolar. They want to stick together. So all the tails will kind of pull in. And because of this effect, you make a circular pattern, and that's called a micelle. So you could see this in real life if you, uh, you know, if you have water, right? If you have, you put like a little container of water and you drop some oil in there because oil will kind of act the same as a soap. Keep in mind that this is the same type of family. So they will have the same effect. And if you drop a little bit of oil in water, you will see oil droplets. And aren't they circular? So just know that in there, you have your polar heads on the outside being exposed to the water. And then on the inside, you got those tails. And that's why it makes those uh, circular shapes. Amazing. (laughs) But anyway... Um, now we're going to be putting it all together because we now want to actually clean. Well, what are we cleaning, right? Well, we clean all of the, the gunk off of our body. Couple of things, right? You got oils from your skin that you secrete. You should get rid of those, right? Depending, depending, right? Some say that, you know, having oil is good, you know, for your hair, but let's just say that it's, it's just way too much, right? You got to clean that away. Um, you have dirt, right? So we have oil and dirt that starts collecting on our bodies throughout the day. So we just have to get rid of them. Now, just know that the oil and the dirt, these are organic substances. Organic just means that it's, it's, um, made of carbon and hydrogen, majoritively. And if it's made of carbon and hydrogen, just like your hydrocarbon chains, those are generally going to be nonpolar. So what happens is when you wash yourself, you will form these micelles because that's how the soap will, um, that's how the soap will arrange itself. But then 
the oil and the dirt, since it's nonpolar, keep in mind, like dissolves in like, the uh, the dirt or the oil, now we're going to be introducing this, the tan thing over here. So we could also say that this is a dirt as well. But the dirt and the oil, since it's nonpolar, nonpolar, like dissolves in like, will get trapped. So the oil and dirt will get trapped um, inside the nonpolar tails of the, I guess, the micelle or the soap, we'll say. And they can't run anywhere. This is making a colloidal system, right? Where you have different species being dropped into another species. So you're forming a, you know, a colloidal system. And because of that, the oil and the dirt, they can't go anywhere. Once the nonpolar tails trap them in, sorry, you're going to be going for a ride. And that ride is by the uh, hydropho hydrophilic tails, they lead the way because they're the ones that are exposed with the water. So the insideness is all about just trapping. Trapping in the dirt, the oil. But while the hydrophobic tails are trapping in the dirt and the oil, the hydrophilic is along for the ride with the water, right? And usually, wherever the water is running, runs down the drain, right? All the water runs down the drain, and that's where the soap goes. So uh, the oil and dirt will get trapped inside the nonpolar tails of the soap and will get, you know, uh, washed away. Because of because of the uh, polar heads uh, uh, polar heads following the water flow. And that is basically it. So the nonpolars, does the dirty work of getting that oil, getting that derp, trapping it in, and then the hydrophilic ends are like the drivers, basically. So they drive down through the drain where all the other water goes. And everyone's happy, and that's how you get oil off your skin, that's how you get dirt off your skin. Gotta love soap. <laughs> I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video, and I hope you have a great, great, great day. Keep studying hard, and... I will talk to you in later lessons. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.